Hello and welcome to the presentation Resistance Breeding in Cereals – How to Face Future Challenges. My name is Dr. Jens Faupel. I am the lead of the Cereals Breeding at Deutsche Saatveredelung AG and team leader of the Winter Barley Breeding. The German programs are located at Leutewitz, nearby Dresden in the east of Germany. In addition, there are also working groups in France and in the UK engaged in the development of new winter wheat varieties. The cultivars winter wheat and winter barley are our main focus. If we talk about resistance and tolerance in plant breeding, breeders and scientists would like to understand how protection against diseases or stress works in the plants. That leads to an ongoing search for special genes. Stress tolerance, for example drought or frost, as well as resistance against pests and diseases are in our focus. To understand the different mechanisms and functions is a key to new varieties. Future challenges of the world will have a big influence on agriculture. It is expected that human population will grow till the year 2050 to a number of 9.7 billion people. It is clear that climatic change in some areas will have a big influence on the living conditions and agriculture processes. On the other hand, political conditions and activities of the European Union will limit the work of the farmers. Initiatives like the reduction of fertilizer, the limited access and availability of chemicals for plant protection, as well as the establishment of sustainable resource saving farm management lead to a fundamental change in agriculture production. In the following table you can see the situation for some agrochemicals in the group of the insecticides and the fungicides. The red cross or the question mark is a symbol for a critical use of the chemical. It could be that the chemical itself is not longer available. It is in evaluation by a European Commission. It could also be that resistance occurred so that the chemical is ineffective and its use is senseless. Following these scores, we can observe that there is a big need for resistance breeding so that the variety itself in future has to deliver the genetic protection against disease and stress. So let's have a closer look to plant breeding and the development of resistant varieties. The definition of breeding goals here to find new resistance genes only makes sense if you can expect the existence of these traits or genes in the neutral genetic variation of the cultivar. In plant breeding, the combination of new characters lead to new varieties with higher agronomic performance. Wild types and exotic forms of the cultivated cereals could be used as a source for new resistance genes. The selection of crossing partners and their specific combination in the crossing program is the start of the development of a new variety. To find new combinations, segregating populations are needed. The work in F2 and F3 populations more and more was replaced by the work in double haploid populations. This process is realized in a complicated combination of different laboratory processes 
that are shown on the left side of the slide. Microspores from the F1 plants, which represent the complex variation of a cross, here are the bases for double haploid plants that easily can be grown in the field. The selection of promising candidates is the basic of our work. With the test in different environments and over years, we collect a lot of agronomic data, information about the resistance and quality. Testing the material over different regions give us the chance to identify promising varieties with a high environmental stability of their agronomic performance. The distribution of experimental locations here is correlated to the main breeding goals and the most important trading regions of the cultivar. For special characters, for example, frost tolerance, drought stress and resistance, individual locations are used to generate specific information. The maintenance breeding of a variety is very important. Homogeneous expression of the DOS characters and maintenance of the agronomic performance is the most important requirement of the European seed law. The production of pure seeds in high quality is also a guarantee for the consumer that he will receive a very good product for his agronomic production. And of course, it is the protection of the plant breeder's ideas. The following pictures give you a little impression about the next levels of multiplication. Breeder's Elite uh, from the maintenance breeding activities is a start. The next steps are the production of the pre-basic seed, basic seed, and finally the certified seed used in agriculture production. Fifteen to twenty years ago, we received pictures from farmers who worried about the development of their cultivars. Yellow spots, misdevelopment plants with short roots that lead to massive yield depression. So, barley yellow mosaic virus type 2, a soy bone transmitted virus, and barley yellow dwarf virus, an insect transmitted virus infection, more and more occurred in the farms. The chemical treatment in both cases was limited or not possible so that solutions need to be worked out by plant breeding. To identify and select resistant sources, a lot of screenings with wild and exotic types were made under natural infection. The following pictures give you a certain impression what these resistance sources look like. If you compare these types with the cultivated high yielding varieties, you can imagine how long the way to the resistant variety might be. To understand the infection processes on the insect side and the function and genetic basis of the resistance, was a start to develop molecular markers which could be used in fast backcrossing programs. The smart look to the candy box makes it easier to understand what happened in the crossing and selection processes. The fast and focused transfer of the resistance genes into the elite background was a basic step to develop resistant varieties in combination with a very high agronomic performance. You will see here the examples of the variety sensation, 
with the resistance against barley yellow mosaic virus type 1 and 2 and the barley yellow dwarf virus. The variety Paradis with only the resistance against barley yellow dwarf virus and the variety Yulia with only the resistance against barley yellow mosaic virus type 1 and 2. In experimental yield trials over the years in different varieties showed their very good performance under infection with barley yellow dwarf virus and the barley yellow mosaic virus. In the right part of the slide, you also can see how impressive the segregation between resistant and susceptible genotypes under natural infection is visible. It enables a very good selection of promising candidates. As described, resistance breeding always is a challenge. The overview shows you a lot more working places where we are engaged in the DSV cereals breeding. The different colors show you the challenges we have for the different diseases. In some cases, it is very difficult to find resistance genes or it is very complicated to understand the mechanism and genetic of the disease. On the other hand, there are examples where the resistance is standard because it is needed in special markets. The examples show how complex the resistance performance of varieties at the moment and more and more also in future might be. I like to show you two examples of varieties which are very popular for the Baltic market. There is Etana, an A quality winter wheat with a high and stable yield performance and a high resistance against yellow rust. Good baking quality is combined with frost tolerance and with a special resistance against common bund and dwarf bund. There is a six row winter barley variety sensation a high yielding and very early variety. We have the resistance against barley yellow mosaic virus type one and two in combination with the resistance against the barley yellow dwarf virus. Plant breeding in future will get more and more a central function development of innovative methods will support our work and give us more possibilities in these challenging times. High yield in combination with quality, resistance, stress tolerance and low input are keywords of future needs in agriculture production. But at the same time, we need to present these keywords also to public to increase social acceptance for modern arable farming. Let's follow the words of Frank Lloyd Wright, the famous architect, writer and art trader from the US. <laughs> 